The same motion that I'm doing over here, to release, is the same motion that I would also do the same thing to release with just my hand. The training is the same. Me doing this motion right here. You see the, how my left hand protects or draws. Yeah. I'm just exchanging energy here. Just say, ah, you can pass. I can pass and cut. No. Well, yeah, you pass all that. Well, oh, I disarmed him. You disarmed me. Yes. <laughs> Doug, I'm right here. So we invite in you to flesh. just watch along. Just watch along yeah. as we start doing some of this stuff. You may not hear us, but uh, this is the thing I'm experimenting. My first TikTok live out here, right? Yeah. And uh, basically, I don't know. I saw a guy just laying there falling asleep. I go, I just want to train. I don't want to have to, you know, yeah. get on this whole production thing. But you know what? Just watch along. Is a guy. If you guys are watching somebody sleep, then you can watch somebody here just train. Yeah. That way, it's just. This is real. It this is, is real. just me really getting with a friend over here and I want to share my passion. Yeah. So one of the things we're going to teach you is the clock system. This is patterns of motion as we're doing simply how to move with a blade. And that's what we're going to do here. Use nature to help us do that. So this is not real. It's a trainer. It's a trainer. It's a trainer, right? Okay. So TikTok police, this is not real. But no, the motions no are going to be real. Yeah. All right. So enjoy. All right. Let's watch us train. So I want you to visualize a big clock and I want you to go, we're going to go one o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock, seven, nine, and 11. Well, I want you to go one, cut all the way to seven o'clock. Okay, then you're going to go 11 through five, just the X pattern for now. But the reason by having a clock is that you just don't cut this and then forget about this. It's the follow through that gets the cut all the way through, the follow through with a cut. So you go one through seven, 11 through five. Now, one through seven, you release all the way till the cut is down. The point is always in case I need to follow up. Okay. Then you point it backward, 11 through five, point is here in case you need to follow up. So one through seven, 11 through five. Okay. That's how we do that. All right. One through seven, 11 through 11 five. Through five. So. One through seven, 11 through five, all the way, good, again. One through seven, 11 through five. And again, one through seven, 11 through five. Good. One through seven, 11 through five. Good. Easy enough, yep. right? Yep. Now step back a little bit. Now we're gonna add your empty hand for guard, okay? okay. So go. Your guard stays here for now because what is your, which is stronger? Your weak side going this way or your weak side going backhand? Say so backhand. Backhand. So then use that as a strength. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna go one through seven, 11 through 5, backhand come again. Because when you do this, that's when you're open. Okay. So 1 through 7, 11 through 5, fill the gap. 1 through 7, 11 through 5, fill the gap. 1 through 7, 11 through 5, fill the gap. Okay. So here, our left hand is a wet. 1 through 7, 11 through 5, fill the gap. And then bring your hand back in right away. Don't leave your hand back. So when here. I'm here. Okay, yeah, because okay. if you leave it out, I'll cut it. Okay. Right? So, All right. one through seven, seven, 11 through five, five. jab. That's do it. I, am I coming up here? I'm yeah, no, I say yes. So when I'm coming to one through seven, 11 through five, I relax my hand. Because when you're up here, do that like what you did. All right. Feel your shoulder? Yeah. That's energy wasted. Okay. Drop your hand. Yeah. No energy, right? Right. Okay, go. All right. One through seven, 11 through five, jab. One, two, jab. One, two, jab. One, two, jab. Jab. Always fill that gap. Two, jab. One, two, block. One, two, block. So I'm your enemy here. Okay. Two, I'm coming. You're not allowing that to happen again. Two, hit. Right? One, two, hit. 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 Excellent. Okay. Now let's do the horizontal pattern. All right. You had the diagonal one, two, seven. Now you have three to nine, hit. Three to nine. So always remember the tip is always in case I need to return with the thrust, it's pointing at the opponent. The threat should always be, not just like this and the threat's no longer there. It's, oh, you wanna come in? Or, oh, are you sure you wanna come in? But I'm always closing this gap. Okay. So three to nine, check. 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 Nice. 
three to nine check. And the check is here in case he has it. Because, right, so if I just attack with this and cut my hand, take your hand out, cut my hand, that's it, right? right? And to nine, cut my hand, boom. But if this attack comes in again, so do it again, three uh, to yeah. nine check. You see what I mean? Yeah. You're always constantly attacking. The hand is always involved. The hand is to just sit there and do nothing. So that's why when you see, because I, I think sometimes people wonder, like when you're seeing you doing it, yeah, and, and everybody's why like, is his hand over like, there? Why am I? Why am I patting? And yeah. So the idea stuff. of that is when you see me do this. You see, when you see the empty hand, you don't understand. But the mint. So hold this. When you see, why are you putting your hand out there? Now right. all of a sudden, oh, is it really just my hand? One, two, chop, one, two, chop, one, two, okay. chop. So I'm still fighting you with two weapons right. or even in this grip. Am I going one, two, jab, one, two, jab, one, two, jab. My hand is very active. Right. But at the same time, if even if I go out here and deliver a strike, you know, my hand is going to guide you right. to do other things. That hand comes out. My left hand is the one doing the right. work, not just my right, right? Okay. So my left hand is constantly alive, not sitting here falling asleep. It's an active weapon. Right. This is the edge. Who says you can't use physical weapons to always work with right. your other hand? <laughs> right? It's so freaking cool. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. And you're doing it. Yeah. Right. So now, okay. you did three to five. Now, let's do the clock. System. One. So this is a good way to remember it. Three right. to nine, right? What are the other clock numbers we haven't used yet? Uh, the. So it's just one. To 11, the 3, 9. The 11 to 5. There you go, know. exactly. Yeah. Now you get the bottom part. This is a good way to remember. So now you just practice 5 to 11, 7 to 1, check. 5 to 11, 7 to 1, check. 5 to 11, still pointing. 7 to 1, still pointing, check. 5, both, it's uppercuts, uppercuts, uppercuts. See, so in empty hands, it's almost like bam, bam, hit. Right. Bam, bam, right? So you're doing the same thing. Uppercut, uppercut, check. Uppercut, uppercut, check. Okay. Try that. So, but think of the number. Right. Get your foot. This is a worry where you get your footwork training yeah. from, right? Yeah. You gotta have good ground. <laughs> to move, right? Five to eleven, seven to one, check. That's it. Five to eleven, seven to one, check. Five to eleven, seven to one, check. Five to eleven. Seven to one check. Make sure you time it with your hands. So as you're cutting, your left side should be protecting your face on the other side. That's it. Protecting that, that, that line of attack okay. right there, right? Yeah. Up and up, check. Up and up, check. Up and up, check. Up and up. Now slow it down. So let's say, boom, and cut again, check. Now let's say it was, it was an offending hand and not the tree anymore. Okay. So I'm the person, the offending uppercut. No, cut the hand now. Oh. So you cut the hand, right? You cut the hand and you check. Okay. You cut the hand, you cut the hand, check. See, the tree is, the lines are nothing more than a guide. I got you. But in combat, it's whatever I feed you, right? right? If I feed you here, and I feed you here, and the check is there, right? Got you. That's it, check, check. Now, instead of palming, I like to hit with the back of my hand. Because that's more, that's more, I have more power in your hands doing this. You see, like, told you how we condition that? Right. That's here, if I, you hear it's not. It's a padding of my hand. Right. Here I can boom, here. You see how I use okay. my hand to hack? Yeah. You can feel the strength of that, yeah. of your yeah. bone, right? So yeah. it's just conditioning of that. One, two, cut, and so on and so forth. The blade of the hand, this part, it's a bone. Closer, am I too far? Yeah, you need, to, you need to move it a little closer just to get that coordination. So it's just like, because this is also empty, um, your hand, uh, you're training for empty hands. Hit, that's it. It's doing good, you see, you're natural. So now that you've got that, we're gonna use the same timing now to work the clock. You're gonna go diagonal down, horizontal side to side, and uppercuts diagonal. So you're gonna go one, 11, check. Three, nine, check. I can do five to seven here. Five, seven, check. One, 11, check. Three, nine, check. Five, seven, check. And go over and over. So you're working the clock in different ways. You're learning how to cut diagonally down, horizontally and uppercuts, okay. right? Work it. Right. So, here, here, check. Uppercut now. Down, down, check, side, 
side check, uppercut, uppercut check. That's it, down. Ah. Go back down. So let's go downward. So downward from ah. the beginning, right? From the beginning. Down and stop again. So let's start again. We relax. And every time you get to a point you don't understand, yeah, I got you, just, you do this. Reset. Okay. Because it's always like, so once you keep on going, you start to do, uh, develop bad habits because you're not, oh, I don't know where I am. So no, no let's right. reset again. Okay. Right? Go. Right. So, um, down. Here. Down. Here. Check. Here. Side. Side. Here. Side, Here. check, uppercut, 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 check, down, down, check, side, side, check, uppercut, uppercut, check, down, down, check, side, side, check, uppercut, uppercut, check, down, down, check, side, side, check, uppercut, uppercut, check, down, down, check, side, side, check, uppercut, uppercut, check, excellent, down, check, side, side, check, uppercut, Uppercut check and relax. Now, cool. we're gonna do this. Everything's a little slow, but as we're going, we're gonna do this. Now, your checking hand now becomes a weapon, too. So, okay. watch how it works. Down, down, cut, side, side, cut, uppercut, uppercut, cut, down, down. It's a jab, it's a simple chop, chop, uppercut, uppercut, chop. Did you ever think you'd be fighting with two weapons already? No. Yeah. Yeah. Just a couple of minutes. <laughs> All right. Nice and slow. Right? That's why you need to know where your weapons are, where your hands are. Right. That forces you to know where your hands are all the time. Okay. Right? Down, down, chop, bring it back. Side, side, chop, bring it back. Uppercut, uppercut, bring it back. So as soon as you chop, uh, you uh -huh. want this chop to be always the same way you came in. It's the same way you come out. Okay, you so jam. you see where your tip is? Yeah. You don't want to come out here and then relax it to come down here because then your hand could get in the path of its cut. So Good. always keep it the same, always that same diagonal, diagonal, that's horizontal. So diagonal chop was here, diagonal, then back up again. So you're aware of where your tip are. Weapon awareness is so important so you don't cut yourself right. where, you are, where your weapon is. It's like flagging a gun. Okay. All right? All right. Down, no. chop, side. Chop, uppercut, chop, down, chop, side, chop, uppercut, chop, down, chop, side, chop, uppercut. Ugh. And if you go by the numbers, it's one, it's one o'clock, eleven o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock, five o'clock, seven o'clock, chop, one o'clock, uh, you, know, you see where you it. put your hand? That's it. Yeah. So it, it changes. It's not wrong, but in the beginning, you want to always have that point of reference right. of where your hands are at all times. Right. Right? Okay. One time. Down, chop, side, chop, uppercut, uppercut, chop. Good. Nice. Easy. You're picking up quick. It's Jason Bourne. That's <laughs> <laughs> Jason Bourne. <laughs> Jason Bourne did Kali. Did you know that? <laughs> sure did. So now, if you were able to do on this grip here, there is also a reverse grip that you can do as a jab. Right? So you go down, down, jab. Side, side, jab. Uppercut, uppercut, jab. The whole idea is you want to jump in? You want to come? You want to yeah. jab? You, you want to go straight at me? <laughs> go right ahead. You know? That's the whole idea, right? So the idea that that is that down, down, jab. Side, side, jab. Uppercut, uppercut. Now, I made my clock bigger. Okay. Okay, so I can move around more because of the weapon that I have. Jab, side, jab, uppercut, jab, downward, jab, side, jab, uppercut, jab. Okay. Should be by going reverse grip. All right. So you're learning to do so many things at one time. Go. Down. Jab, side, jab, uppercut, jab. Downward. Ah. And sometimes it helps to vocalize it. Yeah. Right? You say downward. Down, down, yeah. Side, side, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Down. Downward. Side. Upper cut. Down. Side. Upper cut. Nice. Cool. Excellent. It's a lot of repetition, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this time, you're going to follow the idea of a cut into a stab. So a cut into a stab and you twist out. Cut, stab, twist out. 
cut, stab, twist out. Cut, stab, twist out. You're just doing the line of one through seven, uh -huh. seven through back to five. So it's going one o'clock to seven o'clock, seven to center line, cut back at five and you're done. One pack, pack, boom, you're done. One pack, pack, boom, and you're done. One pack, pack, boom, and you're done. One pack, pack, boom, and you're done. So one through seven, there's an opening here. I can get punched. Right. I fill the gap. I stab, I pull back, I fill the gap. See how the hands always are covering something? It's not mm -hmm. just sitting here while you're doing all the work. Okay. So it's one, oh, I'm open, I check. When I take my hand out of the way, I fill it with something else. When I take this out of the way, I fill it up with something else. So it's one, check, one, check. One, check, stab, check. One, check, stab, check. All right, try. All right. Now, do you, do you lead? They change. Uh, Legs, they okay. change. So, so right now we're doing stationary, so it's easier. But we do everything because sometimes I can't lead here. If I, what if I'm here? What if I'm here? We're always different because right. I don't know where I'm going to be. I just move right. like I'm walking. Later on, when we do this exercise, actually, you're going to be walking around the tree. Okay. So then you're like, well, what lead? Doesn't matter. You just go around the tree as you're attacking. It's okay. like chewing gum and walking at the same time. Right. Okay. So nice and slow. One, one check. Check. Stab. stab. That's it. Then check. check. Now, when you stab down, look at how once I stab, I twist, I'm gonna cut on the way down again. Because the idea here is if I stop here, I cut you. Ah, uh, yeah. So there is a fight on the way out. I may fight off here, and I cut you. I may stop here, I may cut him. So it's always actively attacking. Okay, all right. So, bam, One, check, stab. Twist down, and, and then check again. You're open again. One, stab, and time it. One, check, stab, check. One, check, stab, check. Again, one, pop, stab, pop. Check, stab, check. Make sure your stabbing is also in the, in the line of the, of the number. If you have a straight line, it's a straight diagonal up. So you, you have a good stab. Up and then twist and then check. That's it. One, two, and then turn. Bam. That's right. So the key here is actually going slow. One check. Feel the top of here. You you stop at the point of entrance right there, and you feel that. That's what you want to feel. Pop, twist. Pop one, and then twist and check. One pop, twist and check. One pop, twist and check. Two. That's it. Pop, hit. check, one, pop, check, one, check, ah, one, one, check, check pop, pop, check. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It ain't as easy as it looks, but it ain't hard. <laughs> he's, uh, he's doing good. But remember, yeah. at any point, I don't necessarily have to put the check hand in. I can just simply stick with cuts. I All can right. simply go to, I can go to any numbers that I want to do. The key here is you're learning just how to know where your hands are. It's edge impact. Yeah. I can go edge, edge, impact. I can go impact, impact, edge. As you learn this, this is just trying to learn how to feel where your hands are as you're working the exercise, All right. right? So we did one o'clock. Now let's do 11 o'clock. So yeah. 11 o'clock is a backhand strike. And you're keeping this over here for point of reference. So you're gonna go 11 o'clock, check, where are you? You're ready for this. And cut out. Okay. 11 check, thrust, cut. 11 thrust, thrust, cut. 11 check, stab, cut. 11 check, stab, cut. 11 check, stab, cut. Simple as that. Bam. 11 check, stab, cut. 11 check, stab, cut. Later on, once you have this, then you start just moving around the tree, right? Because you never know where you're going to be when yeah. you're moving against a target. But for training now, you just want to keep yeah. simple and stab and cut. Right? Try that. Backhand side. Uh, 11, 11, check, check stab, cut. Now, the stab comes in the same way you entered. That's yes. right, I rolled my hand yes. over. Yes, right? Okay. So, 11, 11, 11 o'clock. That's up there. There you go. So, 
11. Check. Check. Stab. Yeah. Cut. Good. Take your hand out. Okay. So go ahead. 11 is the backhand slice. Backhand Good. slice. Four. Check. Check. Take your hand out. You don't leave your hand in, right? Stab. And then twist, Good. and then now fill the gap. Okay. Right? 11. Check. Stab. Cut. <laughs> That's all right. 11. 11. Check. check you stab. stab Cut yeah. and come back up to the height. 11, 11 check, check, stab, stab cut. cut. Back again. You know, all you do is raise it up. <laughs> exactly. Because you're going right. to start out here. We started up here, right? Right. So this is on the opposite I keep, I'm side. I'm not bringing my hand back up yeah. and it's screwing with my... That's all right, because I'm rushing you. Yeah. I, normally, you, you, we 11. do hours with this, that one move. I'm throwing <laughs> everything at him in, in a short amount of time, all right? right? So 11, 11, check, stab, stab cut. cut. Then bring it up. 11, 11 check. check. Stab, stab, cut. Stab. Bring it up from the high line. You're attacking the high, the heavens. You're uh, cutting on the heavens. Yeah. Right? So 11, and check. check. And now stab. you're stabbing on the groin. Yeah. You're cutting the neck. 11, check. You're stabbing the groin. Stab, yeah. 11, high line. Stab, cut. 11, check. 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 Stab, cut. 11, check, stab, cut, check, stab, cut, stab, cut, 11, check, stab, and cut. Nice. Ooh. Simple Ooh. enough, right? Ooh. Regular Ooh. trainers, the trees aren't feeling a thing. We're like lightly just hand buttering the trees. It's just a pattern of slicing and cutting different things, right? Yeah. So the nice thing about this now is so we did these two. What do you think the next exercise would be with the, with a slash and stub? Uh, the center line. The center line, right? Side yeah. to side, right? Stab here, check. Stab, check. Slice, check. Stab, check. Slice, check. Stab, check. Slice, check. Stab, check. Slice, check. Stab, check. Nice and smooth. One, two, three, four. Horizontal cut, three, four, and slice, check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Check. Ah, come on, check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Excellent. <laughs> Do y'all have any idea how freaking cool this is? I mean, Doug. He's having fun out here. Fake, fake blades. No one's getting hurt. So Messing with relax. a tree. Pretty cool. He even got his name on the trainer. How cool is that? Yeah. So, <laughs> good deal. So, okay. If we had the high lines, we had the horizontal lines, and we got the, the, the low lines. So the nice thing about this is sneak. Your hands are down, you go boom. Without even thinking about it, you got the going. Yeah. Right? The time on here, boom, he comes back, boom, you're back in again. So just the timing of that, right? Slash up, protect, stab, twist, and cut back down. You're done. Slash up. Check and this is you don't have to reach. Right. It's awkward, just enough to feel the gap there so they won't see that in here. And the idea could be is like, hey, don't even look, sir, because I don't want you to see what's going on. Right? <laughs> That's all the idea, right? <laughs> uh, but the hand is not just, uh, just hitting. Yeah. I can see if you go, oh. Yeah. You know, it's it's a distraction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, that would be bad, right? <laughs> Grab your beard and take your innards out all in the yeah, same just, stroke. Just beard, right? What's in there? Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so right. it's just but they'll always just protect so here cut up check stab is because so you get used to going whoa right, right? You, you ha this is not foreign to you to do an attack like that with a stab we have this okay right. if you do this absolutely but you always twist out when you're cutting because when it gets caught in there bodies chop in or whatever clothing gets stuck you get yeah. a lot to twist to get your weapon out <laughs> so it's cut up check hit cut back down so it's just this simple coordination exercise. Pop, chop, pop. So you cut up, check, stab, twist, and cut. Cut up, check, stab, twist, and cut. Cut up, check, stab, twist, and cut. Yeah. All right, tree, you officially get it. <laughs> All right. So up, stab. No, cut up, uh, then check. Cut up, check, stab. That's check. it. Stab. Boom, now stop. Can you see how you do this? See all this, right? Now relax. 
get there you go that's where you want to go you always want to be at the uh, at a point of relax always relax okay are you faster when you're relaxed very very much so well, right yeah so if you're tense so when you do this don't try to over just trust you're you're done you, this guy doesn't have to be tense your opponent's not there right so every time i i, I do this because i you always conserve energy because okay. you're not attacking one person you're attacking 10 people right so if you do so much and you're so tired you'll be tired because you're tense stuff yeah. just dent your muscles right now yeah that, that's right? the thing when i first started kind of training in some boxing yes i was always like exactly like it's rigid. so what's happening yeah, no, here and, and there's a reason because you're using your body as a shield yeah now the difference here is you're not using this uh your right. body you this thing this right. is your shield i'm gonna cut you with that right so the more relaxed is one thing they say learn to trust your weapon the tra weapon will protect you mm -hmm. but a lot of people who don't do weapons training when they pick up a knife they think it's like their hands so they're hitting hard yeah i'm like are you attacking a tree or a human being right you know that alone oh, with yeah. a knife is done they're done yeah so I'm like, well, how much power do I require? This is so tensing. So I'm going to be slower, and I, I expended so much energy. Right. Right? Okay. All right. I need to relax. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go up. Check, check. Stab, stab check. check. That's it. Up, check, stab, stab check. check. Up, up. Ah. Go. Hit. Go up. up. Check. Keep them check. pointed. Yeah. Check. Stab, stab, cut down. Check. Cut up. Check. Stab and check. Cut up. Check. Stab check. Cut up. Check. Stab check. And cut up. Check. Stab check. Nice. So now we have this part, we have this side here. Right. So you hear it and I love these because they're so thin and don't move. Nobody will see them, right? So here it's like cut up. Check, I stab, I'm done. Cut up, check, I stab, I'm done. Cut up, check, I stab, I'm done. You check. So as I'm doing, I'm cutting up. I stab, I slash, and I protect myself. Good. So, up, check, stab, Cut check. down, check, check. That's it. It's just a pattern of movement. Up, check, stab, check. Ah. This way. Up, check, stab, check. That's it. Cut up, check, stab. I so bad want to turn yep, my hand. Yep. It, it, it feels a it's little a, it's weird. It's a motion. Yeah. So if you think the simplicity of it is you, you in case your hand's already there, so why do an extra motion? Because I do right. that is if i'm passing like this watch the same way i came up is the same way i should go down so i don't waste time changing that's that's a half a second right. where you're not attacking so if i'm here I just go back the way it came in you stab right so yeah. you you like i said you weaponize the way you move this is the way i'm going to stand you this is the way i'm going to attack you this is the way i walk this is the way i want to go like a, a, what's going on over there what's going over there yeah. you know give this something over there <laughs> see it's as yeah. simple as that yeah it's but I don't being waste conscious any of your extension, but it not it. it you don't have to make flowing, a martial move, kind with of. It. Yeah, you are the weapon. These are just right. your teeth. These are your claws, right. right? So if I have to do extra moves, you're slower. You're right. thinking. I have this. so because what happens is, what happens if you don't have this? And I should still fight the same way. Yeah. Well, people freak out. I, I don't know how to move. I'm like you're just you do the same thing. You don't change anything. Okay. You see, they don't, they don't make that connection. Nice way to be controlling the knife when you're gutting deer or any of the, uh, you know, when it's, this is hunting season up here, up in uh, New York State. So, you know, when you have that, it's nice to be able to move with the blades, to be able to cut up and everything else. So, some of the questions here are, all those trees are just going to stand there and let this happen? Yes, because they're trees and <laughs> these aren't real and these are just motions. Snarky, snarky little comments. It's called training. Nobody is fighting here. Yeah. Uh, that's why we're not fighting the trees. We love trees. We're going to hug real. him, right? Not real. But if you don't know how to move, the key here is I'm teaching him how to move. If you get to move this way, sometimes I can move the same way here. You see the motions here? Pow. So in the motion of that, nothing changes. You see the way I move the blade and I don't need to do much work. But what if I don't have the blade? Now I'll do the exact same motion that I'm doing with my empty hands. This. 
Is this? Is this? Is this? So those motions, that, this, is this, is this. I don't, so this protection here, that's an elbow. So I cut elbow, I cut backhand, I cut, so, so motions I do this. When I'm doing the simple motion right here, could be me doing this motion right here. You see that, how my left hand protects or draws. So yeah, these are just patterns of motion we're doing with a tree. Nobody's fighting here. I'm learning not to cut myself as I'm moving with this. And the trees appreciate it because we're not cutting the trees. These aren't sharp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, there's no... Uh... Yeah. Right? So, one of the next thing is, you know in Karate Kid they have a wax on, wax off, right? So we're going to do the same thing with just this. So, why do we put this there? They say practice makes perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. In Kali, we put a blade there because you can move the same way, but if you're not clean, you're gonna cut yourself. So we use that to kind of make our motions perfect. So wax on, wax off is the passing of that, right? So we'll do that motion right here. Okay. So you're gonna go circular with me. I'm just gonna pass, you're gonna pass. I'm gonna feed you and you're gonna pass. Now you move the blade, you move it away. So, so here's a circular motion of that, right? And just relax and walk around, how's the family? <laughs> See, so you train the way you fight, you fight the way, you, if you wanna stay relaxed, then you stay relaxed here. So what I'm doing here is I'm moving this out of the way. So when he comes out here right, to cut me at me, this is the train and don't worry, I get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to cut you, you get it out of the way. When you cut me, I'm going to get it out of the way. So this is just a passing drill, right? Mm -hmm. But in combat, obviously I can cut you. <laughs> oh, crap. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or in the motion of the timing, this, I will never touch this, right? But I will use it as like an antenna to know my range. So that when I know this, it's gonna be in the inside of my body. So it's like an antenna. I will never reach that because you're gonna try to cut my hand. Right. But once I know it, I'll be out here. Okay. I'm not going to reach an empty a weapon with my hand. It's like an antenna to get the timing. So I will do this just to know this is the reach of my hand. So slow motion, it's I know my hand is here, then I replace it with the blade. Okay. It's to buy time. Sometimes it's also the idea of this, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm up here, right? But watch this. Yeah. Right? All I cared about was that. The blade, right? Sometimes yeah. I'll throw something at you to cut. But in yeah. training, it's wax on, wax off. Wax uh, on, yeah. wax off. You see, there are a lot of hidden stories to how the training works, right? right? So here, wax on, wax off. So, but in training, I'll do this. Now we'll take turns. And now, when I'm doing this, when you feed that, I'm just going to go simultaneous. Okay. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to, it's called scissoring. That's it. Then you feed again. So what you're going to do here is I'm going to go here, single, and single, simultaneous. And when you do simultaneous, you're going to go here, you're going to bring it back. Now you're going to do simultaneous on me. It's a taking turns. So we're doing the drill back and forth. Watch. Single. You're single. I do simultaneous. Wait for me. Now you go simultaneous. That's it. Then we go back to single again. Single, single, simultaneous. Oh, you gotta bring your left there. You, you opened up here. Then oh. simultaneous. You were going from the forehand cuts. Okay. Again, single. single. You see, see, your hand has to go right back to this position. Ah, you got see? you. Yeah. There's continued flow. That's why you bring it there. See, do that again. The single now, single, all the way back. You bring the blade all the way to the other side. All the way to the other side. All the way. Now we're doing this. Now I'll go simultaneous. I go here. Now your turn to do it here. Boom, bring it back there, that's it. Then single, simultaneous, simultaneous, that's it. Single, single, simultaneous. I'm freaking out, guys, I'm freaking out. I still can't believe I'm hanging out with this dude. <laughs> We're gonna go through some of the exercises that we did earlier, right? Mm -hmm. As a trainer, here I am touching Brandon. We're exchanging energies. Here I am having the fun of cutting and he'll do the same to me. Here I am doing this and cutting, so I'm playing like we're playing like the movies, right? He, he yeah. takes, takes that and cut again, and he cuts that. Here I am learning how to move the blade and learning how to work with the blade to where I disarm <laughs> and do that. See the laughter? See the laughter? So that's the beauty of it because I am training, nobody's getting hurt. But yeah. you know what it did? It gave me a new dimension of having this 
in my way of life of trading. We're doing this work cutting. Yeah. We're just exchanging energy here. Just say, oh, you can pass. I can put, pass and cut. You know? Well, yeah, you pass all that. Well, oh, I disarmed him. You disarmed me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we and, and see the laughter. It's of great. the fun, and, and, yeah. you know, but we're, we're, this is violent motion. Yeah. But it's just the act of, we keep going, yeah. and we're just free flowing here. It's just the act of seeing what it feels like in close score. We can't even move here to play that, even in different gri grips. And we say, well, keep that. So all of a sudden, I can do this. And I go, oh, what happens if I go in there yeah. and I put it? Just like the movies. Yeah. But we're actually just having fun with each other yeah. safely. No so, blood. No blood. No but blood. here's the thing. I could have gone out there and I would have so much fun using this as work, whether it's survival or cutting out there. Outdoors, you're living it yeah. with a knife. But as a one-to-one -one with a person, with trainers, yeah. I have a whole different understanding of the training of the blade as we're doing this. Now, I will connect it to show you that what if I didn't have the blade? The same motion that I'm doing over here, release, is the same motion that I would also do the same thing to release with just my hand. The training is the same. You don't necessarily have to have a karambit to be well versed in a blade, mm -hmm. right? You don't. It could be any sort Anything, of blade. Anything, yeah. Right. I think so that, you know, my teacher crossed. always told me: it doesn't matter what's in your hand; it's what you can do with it. Right. So whatever you pick up, you know, if it's smaller, then it's I don't have as much of a length. But everything that I'm doing here, the same exact thing that we're showing Brandon in the videos is. It's a training method. It's a template right. that you do. You just adjust to what's in your hand. Says, right. ah, it's longer, it's shorter. Yeah, for instance, if it's like a stick. A stick. Like yeah. He was showing me, like, honestly, I'll, I'll be 100% honest. When we were outside and he was showing me some stuff with a stick, and hopefully we'll, we'll do some more here just in case it didn't get picked up outside. Mm -hmm. But at one point during his instruction to me, he was like, Brandon, because I, I kept focusing on different well, things. Yeah. And he was like, this this is a blade to me. This, this is a blade. And I was like, ah, like it's the same thing. It's just, it's what's in your yeah. hand. I guess you can know, so, coffee cup. I guess it, you can. Exactly, exactly <laughs> that. This is the exact same thing as you can see here in this particular, as I use it, or whether it's this thing here is as I use it. Yeah. It all depends on, you know, once again, because look, a weapon is only effective as its availability at the time of need. Right. So if that's all I got, that's all they're gonna use, that's effective. If this is all I got, I'll figure out a way to you. This is a stick, this is a stick this way. It's anything that yeah. you have around you, you just gotta know how to use it. And, and, and the main thing is you just gotta know how to use it by doing. Right. Not just by watching, by doing. Yeah. You don't need another person there. So he's gonna be able to teach you how to train by yourself, in your home, mm -hmm. in your garage, in your bedroom. Heck, while you're in the shower, I, you know, <laughs> just don't use Still use your hands, don't use your so, other parts. But anyway, so let me let, let me explain what I mean by that, right? So here's Brandon, right? So right. I'm gonna practice on cutting diagonals, the right. motion that we were practicing, working on. All of a sudden, Brandon's not there, and all I have is hold it down here. I'm just doing the exact same thing I just did right now, except I just created a wooden pole to be that. If I have Brandon to feed me as a partner drills for martial arts, right? We'll do the exercise, the wax, wax on, wax off, okay. right? Uh, at the wax on, wax off, or I'm passing and I'm cutting, and he's passing and then cutting, and we go. So we're doing this exercise that we're doing earlier with the partner drill just in case there's an attack. All of a sudden, I don't have that, and all I have is this, then I would do the same motion that I'm doing here, or pass and cut and cut, circular, pass and cut and cut. He's not there, but I have a pole that I created because yeah. it's all in here, folks. Yeah. Can you learn from videos? Absolutely. I can use my imagination. I can visualize something or I can create training apparatus. As I say, he taped that together. So this all of a sudden is an attack coming to me. So I can practice the attack coming in here. I can attack the scissoring. I can cut this way. I can cut that way. I can cut this way. All these motions that I'm doing right here, if I need to roll it to cut, all of a sudden the stick is no different than straighten your arm. The arm, I'm cutting this way, I'm cutting this way, I'm cutting this way, I'm cutting. So I'm doing everything I just did with the stick, except now he feeds me, I have the timing of the motion to make it work that way. Yeah. And we were talking with, with Brandon, you know, um, yeah, the trainers are not part of the box there, but the training is part that will have access to your special uh, group over there if they want to, to do continued training because it was just fun and that, yeah. that we can get together and do specific 
for your group, for your subscribers yeah. alone and, to be able and to And please say that. that you guys want to see that stuff because yeah. that means I get to come back and hang out with him and film it. And, and train. And, and you know, train. Yeah, in the warm. Because it was freaking, <laughs> oh my God, folks. So here, here's the thing, like I get it, okay? A lot of you guys obviously are knife guys. That's why you're subscribed. That's why you subscribe to the Pro Plus because you want to get cool knives and stuff like that. But listen to me, okay? They're tools. They're not meant just to sit in the freaking drawer. I get it, like I collect knives and stuff like that, but look, I'm with Doug, okay? <laughs> this guy knows how to use these things and 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 he designed this for a really cool purpose. Like, you can use this for what he does with knives. Mm -hmm. You can use this for what I do with knives. And eventually I can use this for what I wanna learn from this guy <laughs> on how to use knives in the way that he uses them. Yeah. So, if you guys, just drop in the comment section, okay? If you guys are interested in seeing me and Doug do stuff where I'm learning and you guys can learn at the same time and uh -huh. potentially get access to trainers that are like the things that you actually, that this is what you need to be practicing yeah. with, not this, okay? But just I just wanted to throw that <laughs> in the there. The nice thing about that is these will also fit into the scabbard that comes with it. Yeah. It's perfect for that. And that's one yeah. of the things that if you like and you want to learn this as part of what you're able to do, don't mind the dog. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, just tell us in the comments. Yeah. Otherwise, um, it was just a pleasure just to know that uh, you guys get a chance to see what it is I love to design. And for my first survival cleaver out there, tell me how you like it and how it works for you in terms of outdoor stuff. But if you want to use it also for self defense and other parts of, of the path of learning martial arts, mm -hmm. we can also bring that to you.